Proverbs 27, 17. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend, somebody say friend, friend. Friend sharpens a friend. And so primarily we see that God wants our faith to be strong. He wants to be like iron. We also see that God wants us to realize that our faith over time needs to be sharpened. It can grow dull. And then we also see that fellowship helps us to understand the true meaning of a friend. The Bible says a friend sharpens a friend. That's what fellowship helps us to realize. And how many of you know we all need friends in life? And in our walk with God. But not just any friends. True friends. According to the Bible. And you have to realize, biblically speaking, a true friend isn't just a person who you can call when your car breaks down. It's not just a person you can borrow money from when you're in a time of need. It's not just a person who will defend you when you're not there. And it's not just a person you can tell secrets to. Those things are good. Okay, those things are important. But according to the Bible, a true friend is one who can sharpen your faith. See? A true friend will be one who can help you to believe God. A true friend is someone who will help your feet become solid like iron. A true friend is a person who will draw you closer to God rather than farther away. A true friend is someone who will love you enough to tell you the truth. A true friend, according to the Bible now, is one who will remind you to pray, who will remind you to spend time in your word. A true friend is one who will tell you it's time to get back in church. A true friend is one There are people in our lives, I dare say, a lot of us don't have a lot of friends, yeah. according to the Bible. Yeah, we have associates, we have people we do lunch with, we have people in our personal space, but according to the Bible, they're not real friend. Not if they're not causing your faith to become solid. That's a real friend. That's why another place in the scripture, the Bible says, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Because sometimes a friend may tell you things you don't like, but it's what you need to hear to get your faith going. So that's what we came from fellowship. I dare say your best friend, not everybody now, but your best friend are those in the body of Christ, okay, who can help sharpen your faith.